Hi everyone, it's time for Fan Mail Friday, our favorite time of the week. And boy, the mail is so spooky this week. Oh, and, and it's a delight as well. I'm going to start off with Janet, who sends us a lovely card um, from our, you know, most grateful paper dolls. Uh, my attitude is full of gratitude. Isn't that lovely? And she writes how much fun she's had participating in AGTV and uh, the members only shows and the mystery box and all the exciting things that we've been doing. Uh, but the thing that made me pause was that she's excited about the Empress Elite because last year she sent, she made and sent exactly 930 cards made with our products. Wow, she says her Empress and Mini keep chugging away despite the fact that I, I purchased both when they were first available. Isn't that great? Uh, so Jan, I'm excited about the, you getting the Elite. I, you know, I'm really excited for its launch on HSN. It's the world launch on the 29th of October. Uh, gosh. We have so many incredible things to show you that it can do. Uh, I can't wait. All right, Miss Agnes, she sends me a 30th anniversary card. I love it, look at that. Uh, so, so pretty. Love the color combinations, Agnes. I do, I really do. Now, Miss Sarah, uh, look at that, warm wishes. Sarah likes to write about the fact that she won uh, a ticket to Create 10 because she had purchased, she had participated in Crop at Home 4. Wow, isn't that fun? So she's really excited and she is, uh, she's happy about all that generosity that's coming around from, from here and uh, here and the whole of the Griffinite community. And she has a brand new, um, a Celia Gamma friend, a mom and a Latina like me, she says, and has never been to create and loves all the products. She joins in on our Zoom groups and she makes all these amazing things. She's joining us in November. So how exciting. Uh, we always have a statistic during create where um, you know, at the beginning about how many, it's, how many people that are joining us for the very first time for a three day live stream of crafting. We are making the most beautiful thing this year and uh, so it's really great that uh, Sarah has a new friend and all the uh, beautiful in the making circle is going to be with us and uh, so so exciting oh next we have a beautiful fall scene from Robin oh Robin you are adorable so I, I really thank you for for this and I thank you for your letter um, I hope you're watching this today and I want you to know that I am um, uh, my, my team is reaching out to you today um, about a special gift from me. Uh, I, wa I want you to know that I, I, want, I want you to be as happy as, as can be and anything that we've done to, other, to make that otherwise, I sincerely apologize. So uh, anyway, let's move on to Halloween. Uh, look at that shoes the witchy shoes they're having I think they're dancing on this card uh, Janet that's adorable and I, I'm not sure if it was Janet some, someone texted me um, yesterday morning that they were lacing up those witchy shoes which was really kind of fun to see lots of little ribbon inside the laces well done okay Laura O'Connell she Oh, you know, she just brings a smile to my face. Look at this. So she's, I love you, my queen. She always says that to me in what she writes and makes. And she says, I love the simple Halloween cards because I kept half of them as rockers and used the other on the cards, the uh, regular cards. Um, she was <laughs> thrilled to see herself in the Create 10 video. And thank you for, Laura, thank you for saying all of that, making the video and, and saying all the lovely things that you said so that people could join you in having an incredible experience, November 8th, 9th, and 10th. Oh my goodness. And then on and on and on after that. Uh, next, uh, we have a lovely Halloween card from Karen. And uh, I'll drop a house on someone for some nice shoes too. That's really funny. She's looking forward to create 10 as well. 
Uh, speaking of dropping a house on someone, we've got a card coming up that's going to uh, show you something very clever. Okay, uh, Diane, oh, how pretty that is with uh, all the uh, Halloween embellishments, and um, I hope you enjoy this collect the the celebration of Halloween with family and friends. How fun! You know, I think uh, you know by but let's see by the 31st of October. Wow, so much will have happened, um, and so exciting, and I think, I just do the candy, right? Uh, I don't even get trick-or-treaters, but that's okay. My, my yard's pretty scary right now. <laughs> oh, anyway, anyway uh, it's all in transition. Uh, Roxanne, look at that. She, she got that sh little shaker supply kit and made a Christmas card already. Isn't that adorable? And from a very grateful fan, not sure if I can call myself a Griffinite. Oh, come on. Oh, do you know that Griffinites are self-titled, self-named, right? Adopted, right? You, everyone is a Griffinite if you say you are. How, how adorable. Uh, she is excited for the, um, for Create 10 because she was gifted it. Ah, ah, I love it. She loves shaker cards and that's exciting. All right, here is the card um, from the drop a house on, on someone. Look at this. Okay, we're dropping the house on the witchy shoes. Isn't that adorable? And I love the pink glitter windows. This is from Tracy. Oh, and there's the unicorn scenes in the background with the rainbow, all glittery as well. So fantastic. So this is from Tracy Connor, and she writes about um, having, she won during National coffee day or something. I didn't even know we did that. But how exciting. Um, there were some mugs that were sent out from the cricket and she adopted. Each person in her family adopted a different mug. But she said they couldn't have been more perfect if she had chosen them herself. Isn't that fun? Um, so as I read about this, she has, uh, she crafts uh, with her 94 year old mother. Now, Tracy, you didn't tell me your mother's name. So I want to, I want to give her a shout out. So um, I, I think that it's so amazing that they craft together, Tracy and her mom, and they watch the HSN shows and then they compare notes and her mom res will, refuses to do anything technological um, or technology related, but she loves it when Tracy shows her the things that she's made. So they, they exchange beautiful creativity through the mail. Oh, I love that. That reminds me of my mom. So she would always send me send me things in the mail. She would cut out clippings and she would make cards and she would write on the envelopes on the outside and there were all these messages everywhere. <laughs> and, uh, but it was, it was her way of, of sharing with me very much like you did with your mom. So thank you so much for that. Uh, okay, next I have this incredible folio from Chrissy. Now this comes from across the pond, uh, all the way from the UK. Isn't it beautiful for your for you to keep your memories? And each there we go. So Chrissy joined us on AGTV. Isn't that lovely? She was our first international. Uh, live guest and so all of this it's got little pockets and through the whole thing there's even a little closing end, end uh, panel memories are created by what we do not what we think isn't that something I love it so she said she had a, a, a big haul from our last QVC show um, that was our last one of the year believe it or not um, we do have some new things on QVC UK on the website uh, this month and uh, in the beginning of November, so check back there. Uh, but it is so lovely to, um, she, she made this uh, out of Francesca to commemorate our 30th anniversary, and I think that's just so lovely. Thank you, Christy. Okay, all right, this is our very last week of the Griffinites Give Back, and uh, it's been such a fun, uh, joyful process. Uh, this, uh, this this ticket is coming from an anonymous donor. We had 29 comments to win, which is a lot, yeah, a lot less than I expected um, in these giant giveaways that we've been doing. I think we've, we're up to like uh, two, two create tickets a week now. Uh, but this is the last one for the Fan Mail Friday uh, Griffinites Give Back. That, this was all about the generosity of our community who wanted to pay it forward and to gift the event to someone, um, whether they remained anonymous or they were uh, interested in 
in saying what creativity meant to them, uh, you know, all those things. We're just, it's all about sharing, and I think that's so, so fantastic. Uh, this week's winner, this is what she said, uh, everyone's cards are so inspirational and uplifting, and there's a, a saying that states, we rise by helping others, and when I make cards and, to give, and give to others, I feel that I have risen. Uh, I enjoy seeing the look on someone's face or receiving a text or a phone call when they receive a card that was not expected. I'd love to win a, a ticket to Create 10 and share with my friends who love to craft. Uh, this is from Susan Beck. Congratulations. Uh, so exciting, Susan, to hear from you and to understand that. I love that we rise by helping others. Mm. All right, so that's going to be on its way to you. Everyone, those tick, those those boxes started shipping. It's on Monday. Many of you I have seen on the community text uh, have received them. You also uh, received a little uh, commemorative invitation uh, to to create ten. Uh, I don't want to spoil a surprise for anybody, but thank you for your kind messages about that. Uh, Oh, we're counting it down now, folks. Uh, so we will see you again next week. Thank you so much for your creativity, and bye for now.